Ah, meron yan. I have vivid memories of that. Um, I was... I was fourth year. In my senior year. Uh, happens to be the year that... Uh, it happened to be the year... The last year of teaching. Ni Napoleon Abueva, national artist. No? And I was assigned by uh, my teacher, Leo, we're going to inaugurate the Tolentino Hall, the college, which is the sculpture hall of the college. Uh, you make an exhibit. You, you make an exhibit to pay homage to the national artist who's retiring, si Sir, ano, Sir Billy. Tapos, so, papano, sino-sinong involved na sudyante? Tapos, sinabi sa akin, ah, mamili ka. So, I guess, yun na yun. No? That was my, the very first, first one. So, I got first choice. What I did was, I looked at works na, na, I think was contiguous and, um, parang, were in some way related to the body of works or, or, or uh, or Professor Abueva's contribution to Philippine art. So, namili ako na mayroong work na abstract, mayroong work na figurative, uh, only because Sir, si, ano, Sir Billy worked in both idioms, di ba? Yun. Uh, may sculptures, may paintings. So, yun. Ganun ang nangyari. And I got to choose from all of the students of fine arts, including, doon ako naka-experience na I learned na when you curate something, yung, yung, yung friendship takes, friendship takes up um, a secondary role because the important thing is really the work. You know, only because of what I thought that were works were bringing into, in, into the exhibition. So, in that, in that, in that show, I, I, you know, I, a sort of experience first and how it is pala to be able to choose to show given a theme um, from a set no, that's open to you. So, na-experience mo yun nung pupili, ano yung mananaig, ano yung hindi, ano yung kailangan at ano yung hindi. So, yun. Uh, my background in my background in art history helped a lot uh, and I guess because of that I was also chosen to, 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 to do the show and then secondly and oddly enough uh, my first experience of a big show that was curated by someone else was actually the 100th birthday of of Amor Solo no, and that was, I think, our, mm, that's towards December eh, or something, mga November yata yun, dun sa New College of Fine Arts. We just moved in from the fifth floor of the library. And so it was the 100th birthday of, ano, of Amor Solo. And we had a, there was a, an exhibition, no, to commemorate 100th birthday. And I was first year student no. Doon ko una naranasan na, ay, ganun pala yung show, ganun pala ang curated exhibit. Because it was curated. It was, uh, it was not like everybody here now. Ang nag-curate pa nun, si Sir Chabet. No, si Sir Chabet ang nag-curate nun. And then, nakita ko, more or less, how, how the curation, how, how he did, how he arranged the work, kung ano yung nasa, nasa beginning, ano yung nasa dulo, and everything. And then, nakita ko yung thinking behind na, ah, he chose this. Ah, napansin ko na, yung mga trabaho na ano, pumupunta doon, yung merong ganong direction. So, yung ganon pala yung nakukuri, hindi lang pala inaayos niya physically. Na kung ano yung, para hindi pala yung basta decoration. Meron din palang ano yun. Meron din palang some form of 
Palang logic for rationalization why this word is placed here, why because I uh, was also placed that. I so yon and then I hindi pa nga ako naging tiko pa naging teacher si Sir Chabet noon and then I knew that they, he had mga students at that time na na laging parang sunod na sunod sa kanya hindi naman nila nga nilagay sa harap yung mga mga babies niya he had a he did what he had to do it was because the show was about a solo so dun ko nakita parang I think that was a good example kasi um, I had a chance to look at the, the works uh, for some time because tumulo ako bang ilaw ng mga trabaho. Yeah. Maglagay ng ilaw sa trabaho para makita sila. Tumulo na ako. Even if arranging is a big part of it, but there is a rational behind the way things are actually um, exhibited or shown to the public. 